Cardinal signs, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to cover April 26th through May 2nd. This is for Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Uh, let's motherfucking get into it. This week we're going to actually focus on uh, love and partnerships. Um, I'm having fun with these. If you're not already following following me on Instagram, at Grateful underscore Drake, I did um, the weekend tarot reading, which was really cool, partnership reading. So let's uh, start. I'm actually going to start with Oracle cards, uh, which gives us different um, kind of information. I'm going to start with a, a five-card spread here with the tarot, and then we're going to dip into these Oracle cards, these Oracle decks. I have a few new ones, so this is going to be juicy. I'm super excited, are you? So if you're not in a partnership, this would be, you know, somebody that you think about a lot. Um, could be somebody from your past, even. This could be somebody that you're trying to release from your past. Um, somebody you're trying to do work with um, on releasing. Um, okay, so let's get into it. We're going to start you off with a five-card spread and dip into these Oracle decks. I hope everybody's doing well. Please like my shit. Please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who tapped in for the 2121 readings. Um, for anyone who donated or tipped uh, or bought a full, a regular reading, uh, a regular 30 or, or hour long reading, a 15 minute reading, I appreciate you guys incredibly much. Let's motherfucking get into it. A lot of yellow here, right? Yellow is representative, makes me think of the third chakra, the sol solar plexus chakra. Makes me think about joy and abundance and summertime. Makes me think about laughing and playing, being at the beach maybe, being at the lake, being near the water. Okay, so you get two major arcana cards um, that come out in your spread. The first one is the hanged man, okay? The hanged man comes upright, which is good. So we're learning lessons about how to be patient and letting things go. You guys got compromise that flew out, okay? Compromise. Where, where, what areas need to be compromised in in your relationships, okay? The second major arcana card that came out is the strength card. The strength card is also the card of Leo. So we, and it comes up right. So this is good. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. So we're letting something go. And I'm like, well, what are we letting go? You have some worries and some doubts, some fears, uh, maybe some paranoia about something going on in your relationship, worried about maybe somebody, possibly worried about if somebody's cheating, if somebody's getting away with something, if somebody's doing something, okay? It's possible that these are unfounded fears. I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, meaning it's possible that these are just in your head and maybe you've been through a lot in the past and so you kind of worry about um, these patterns, okay? Even if it's not even a partner that's done this before. This could be something that you're worried about because of things from the past. You're going to have to make a choice about whether or not you're going to continue harping on this person uh, about this situation, okay? It does feel like for some of you guys, you're you're either married or deeply committed to this person. We get the four of wands, so we see marriage, commitment, and ceremony. It comes up right, but then we get two twos, two of pentacles and two of wands. They both come reversed, so we see that you having a hard time making a choice, feeling really like... Um, really, really kind of brewing and stewing over something. Get sensual awakening. Let me grab the book for this. Oh, okay, this is sensual, sensual awakening, bruh. Where's my sensual awakening? Within the sacred temple of your body, your soul experiences the last buffet 
the vast buffet. I was like, the last buffet? What the fuck? Why it gotta be the last buffet? Okay, let me start over. Within the sacred temple of your body, <laughs> your soul experiences the vast buffet of life made manifest. Your sensuality is a way for your soul to express appreciation, pleasure, and joy. Your sensuality is much like your creative energy. It needs to be expressed regularly. Otherwise, it can be become muffled under a fuzz of too much thinking. Wow, this is interesting. So, this oracle brings you guidance that your sensual nature needs to play and it doesn't require an external lover to do so. Let me tell you, friends, I don't want a TMI, but I ain't had no lover for some time now. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. See, this is what happens when I'm by myself. I get to just do whatever I want and then it's a problem. So you don't need a friend to do this. This is a solo journey for some of us, okay? Though that is one way, of course. Okay, so they're just talking about you expressing yourself sensually and sexually in some way or another, okay? For some of you guys, maybe we're not getting enough from our partner or they may be feeling like we are not giving them enough, okay? There's some sort of energy that needs to be moved through your body. For some of you guys, maybe it's not sensuality, but dance, rhythm, and moves. You know what I'm saying? Moving your body. It does feel like this sense of worry or fear that we that's showing up here, the Seven of Swords, is less of a reality and more of like a perception, more of like a, a patterned, habitual way of thinking, okay? It does feel like that because um, all of your cards come up right. Your Four of Wands comes up right, which is a healthy marriage. Um, the Strength card comes up right, which is re releasing with grace. The Hangman comes up right, which shows there's a lesson here that feels like you want to hur hurry it up and speed it up. Um, being a little bit impatient, but these are good lessons, okay? So the Seven of Swords doesn't worry me too badly. Uh, but you, but you, you are breaking patterns which can feel very daunting, which can feel just as real and just as scary. Is the camera light going nuts? What? Oh, it is wiggling. Flat surface, please, Alex. Thank you. Come again. Okay. So, so even though it, your partner might not be doing something shady, it, it does still feel just as daunting. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have two of wands reversed, which shows like you have a new way of looking at it. You do, the ball is in your court. You do have the ability to kind of change the trajectory of how things are going. But currently, you're not seeing it that way. Commitment. Okay, so you guys get the commitment card. You're definitely deeply committed to this person. So that's good to hear. Let's pull some more cards. All right. This is one of the new, new ones. Well, a couple of these were new, but this one's going to be fun. What else? Five cards, please. Okay. You guys have big goals together, okay? You guys have things you're trying to do. You may be juggling finances. There may be financial issues that you guys are kind of maybe not seeing eye to eye with. Things with business, career, success. Claim your place in the world, it says. Claim your place in the world. This comes underneath the hangman. So um, it's going to be important that um, if you want this to be something that last a lifetime and that it really is enduring stands the test of time that you 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 are able to back up and really see the bigger picture so if you're nitpicking some shit uh it's going to be difficult okay underneath seven of swords we get ego yes okay i'm glad these are kind of coming out the way that it seemed ego pride jealousy self-preservation walls let your guard down so underneath the kind of card that makes me think that you're worried that somebody's doing something wrong um 
or you're overthinking a situation, the card is here to let you know, like, it's really just more ego. And ego can be, ego can be, um, can show up in the form of paranoia. Ego can be overthinking. Ego is a defense mechanism sometimes, even. It says pride. Oh, I just, I read that to you already. Let your guard down, okay? The next card out underneath the strength card, you guys got loss. Loss of self-identity. Discover your true self again. So they're really wanting you to let go of the ego so that you can find yourself again within the relationship, okay? Within the relationship. Blessings. Okay, so underneath the four of wands, you get blessings. So there's blessings coming in. Protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. So within the marriage, you are protected, divinely guided, and blessed. Two of pentacles underneath that, we get an awakening, realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. So this is a twin flame deck. So you may not be with who you consider your twin flame. Uh, you may not believe in twin flames, um, but I'm just sharing with you that these cards are pertaining to the person in your life. So regardless if you think they're, they're your twin flame or not, I don't even necessarily give a, give a fuck about twin flame stuff after I actually did my research. It's actually kind of, well, I don't want to put my own shit out there, but yeah. So twin flame, the twin flame process seems to be kind of a daunting, unsurmountable task that doesn't seem uh, right to me. So anyway, sidebar. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have yes. The answer to your question is yes. So if you came in here looking for, um, like you were like, is, 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 is he this or that? Yes, the answer is yes. But let's say you didn't come in here with a question. It does seem like um, you guys have a lot of potential. There's a lot of love that shows up here that we're going to need to compromise, compromise um, and make sure that we are stay committed to each other. Okay. As long as we do our work, the answer is yes, things will work out and we can, this thing, we can do it in it to win it. Okay. Attraction. You guys are very attracted to each other, which makes it easy i will tell you something don't ever try a relationship well you try what you want well, i'm gonna tell you if you go into a relationship because it's a it's a, a, a relationship that looks good on paper you think is a relationship that uh um y'all work good together if you ain't attracted to that motherfucker it will not work because best believe when i'm mad at you extra don't want to fuck you extra okay so already right i know i'm being a little bit crass but i can be but you know that kind of like passion you have with somebody like even if they kind of do something stupid and they fucking piss you off like at the end of the day you're like hey i, I, I still might need to like i <laughs> come here boo come here then I'll be mad again at you tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, whoa. I didn't mean for three, but three came out. This is what we have. Ooh. So what kind of comes to mind, too, is that you might be teetering between um, maybe discovering who you are or something. You get beauty queen and wallflower which to me feel like opposing um energies beauty queen is to me somebody who like knows she's beautiful she's kind of out there and she likes to look good and you know she she gets herself dolled up for the day um and the wallflower is somebody who kind of takes that step back um you it comes out with mature man so i'm not sure exactly what that means to me actually that to me it's kind of weird um I wonder if in some ways someone's partner is, is 
trying to figure out like really what he's most attracted to maybe what he once was attracted to is something different you know maybe what what he looked what he thought was beautiful in you when you first met is changing a little bit maybe your 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 partner is observing you and watching you in all your different phases maybe he's appreciating you in all your different phases which would be lovely right Or are you trying to be something for your partner that doesn't feel like you? Okay, then we get six, the third eye chakra. The sixth chakra is called the third eye chakra, which confused me for the longest time in the beginning. Okay, so it's 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 called third eye because you have one, two, three eyes, but it's the sixth chakra, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so, and the third chakra rules being able to see its intuition. We can feel intuition in other places in our body. I actually learned that my intuition is in my body, is in my chest, my arms, it's up here. I can feel, I know like, oh shit, I gotta do that. So it makes me move, it makes me wanna do it. Uh, 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 it's up here. <laughs> um, but so intuition in general, a, a clear, either it's a clear audience or a clear hearing or a clear, cog, a clear voyance, being able to see. Sometimes it's a clear uh, cognizance or a clear sentience, which is a clear knowing. Sometimes I have that. I have that a lot. Or a clear sentience, which is just a clear, clear feeling, just feeling. But it's intuition in general. Third eye chakra represents you using your intuition to help you navigate through this stuff. Let's send you off with one of these and then we'll be done. Okay. Power. Excuse me. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. All right. So just remember how powerful you are. Okay, Cardinal Signs, I love you guys. Happy motherfucking Monday or whenever you find these. Please remember to share if you can. Please remember to like my shit. Uh, subscribe, of course. Um, I love you guys. And um, any kind of traction, clicking, movement you do on my page helps my channel grow. So thanks. All right. Bye, guys.